Hi there and welcome to another 3ds Max tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about how to convert edges to a selection and then do something with the selection to make it more useful to us. So let's get started. So first of all I've made an object here that resembles some kind of room um, and what I like to do is I, I like to go in and create skirting board for a room and the way that I can do that is by selecting the object and going into edge mode and then if we go and select control select each edge that we want to make the skirting board for so if we go around here so you'll notice that I've selected all the edges along the bottom of the wall you might want to also select these ones in the doorway if you've got a doorway but we'll leave that for now so all we need to do is go up onto the uh, edit edges section and we'll create shape from a selection so you'll get a pop-up and all you want to do is select linear so then we get all straight lines just as you've selected them if you select smooth um, the edge will turn out smooth so it's not really what we're after so if we go back to linear and click OK the edge has been created for you and it's there in blue so let's just drag select and unselect the mesh there so here's your shape that's been generated so all we need to do now is if we just go and set an extrude modifier up and we alter the height of that and then we put a shell modifier on top of it to alter the thickness you find that we, we can pretty quickly create a decent skirting board so what we can also do is we can select the skirting board and we can duplicate that and just quickly clean it up where the door the doorway is the bridge to clean this up. There's many ways of doing this of course but the bridge is as good as any. So there we go, we've got some cove in there. What we can also do is go back to selecting the walls and hit three on the keyboard. We can also, we can either create um, another spline just on its own and extrude it to create a ceiling. So let's do that. So we'll create the shape, linear, press OK. It's highlighting in purple there. So we, all we need to do is just extrude that and it becomes, it becomes a ceiling. So we can remove that. Or if we just hit rendering enabling viewport, we can create some kind of piping that might be able to go I don't know, under the under the skirting board there. So there's quite a few ways to use the create from selection tool, and uh, best of luck with it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.